Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's really important and special update that I have for you, I will be talking you through the current Bitcoin resistance that I am in a short position on right now and I also need to be giving you the levels once again on Ethereum. Ethereum, we have been waiting for this level for the past few weeks and we finally have hit our target. So I really need to be giving you this Ethereum update today urgently as everything is coming exactly as predicted. Um, <laughs> bit of a meme, but I want to, I, basically I need to talk you through this. So I need to start off with Bitcoin, the massive levels that we're up against right now in terms of support and resistance and I really I need to be talking you through Ethereum the levels we're up against and the bounce that's currently underway ladies and gentlemen I think you're going to absolutely love this video that I have for you today so you're here for the most professional technical analysis here on YouTube and this is what I'm going to give you so let's go straight into the charts here without further said or do So I'd like to start off this video going through Bitcoin and then we will end with, wow, we'll end with Ethereum, but let's start with Bitcoin. And if you haven't already, I really recommend you watch yesterday's technical analysis, which was titled, You Won't Believe How Many Shorts Are Entering the Market Right Now. I really recommend you watch yesterday's technical analysis so you have a bit of perspective on what we're going through today. But let's just catch ourselves up really quickly. I want to give you the education first of yesterday's plan, and then we'll move on to what's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart. So let's start off with helping some people and giving them this education. So first of all, you will know from yesterday's video, we were in a long position on Bitcoin. This was based off of our, you know, really simply our trading plan where we were expecting higher prices. And during that video, as I was making it, we were obviously pulling back slightly. And some people were thinking, oh, this is a swing failure pattern. But I was really simply thinking, well, actually, I don't think this is a swing failure pattern. I believe we're still going to be heading up higher to our bigger target box. At least in general, obviously, that is that's exactly what happened as we made our way up yesterday to around $56,700 being our high. And there's a few, few key things here, in my opinion, why this was the case. We first have, obviously, if we think way back, we obviously bounced originally off of our CC level. Then we had our upward sloping support line, which managed to actually hold on the 19th, but, you know, really, really, really well uh, for that third touch before an increase in price. And you also had this sign line, which for me was a really important resistance level, which we broke. And then naturally, if you break a really important resistance like that, you also expect an impulse. So you got those three factors coming together. You got your impulse, and then obviously from yesterday's video, as you were, as you were seeing, hopefully, um, while I was in that long, I was talking you through those massive short positions that we were seeing. And you can just we just look at this again: hundred million shorts, hundred and fifteen million shorts, fifty three million, one hundred and seventy nine million shorts. So we were seeing the shorts go absolutely crazy <laughs> really they were going absolutely crazy and you know this was for me like my eyes lighting up thinking wow this is a really good opportunity for the short squeeze because we could literally see at the very low of the move like you're seeing literally hundreds and millions of short positions open and my perspective was this was really nice absorption we had our divergences well you know let's make our plan which is originally a long uh obviously i was you know, entering my long from the CCV setup, obviously laddering into that long position. And then it's after, you know, recognizing that to compound higher and, you know, stick to the plan, essentially. Stuck to the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, we made our way up to that green target box. And I've, I've got to talk you through a few really important factors here, uh, because I just feel it's, I really do feel I can help a lot of people with it. So, a few really key factors. It's obviously making that original plan, okay? And while we're making our way up, obviously we're in long positions at this moment in time. And I'm sure, although there's no financial advice in the video, I'm sure people were also joining in on them. And it's while we're making our way up here, okay? Even while we're consolidating here for several hours and we're making our way up again, it's getting into a position of having the original plan and then sticking to that plan. So what do many people do? As I was saying yesterday, if you're longing down here, why would, and you have your target box up here, why would you be closing your longs here? Why would you close your long here or here or here? Because then you're going to close your long too early. And it's it's the thing of people get so scared to see their winning trade turn to a loss that they end up closing their longs too early 
when there's no need to. And I'd really like to emphasize this by a question that was asked inside the champions group yesterday, which was, um, it was really simply, have I taken any take profits yet? And really simply, my answer is not yet. I'm, I'm not going to take a profit early because we still haven't hit the main target box. So if we if we haven't hit my main target box, why would I take profits? The answer is I'm not going to because I need to stick to my plan, as I'm emphasizing here at around 3.30 yesterday. Really simply remaining patient on this Bitcoin trade. There is no reason for me to manage anything right now. Still expecting higher for the Fibonacci target, which is obviously our, our green Fibonacci box. So it was at 3.30 yesterday, um, emphasizing to people's questions, no, I'm not taking profits until we hit that target. And obviously we can see we, we come up into our target box perfectly and I started to scale out my long position. But the first factor that I need to emphasize is really it's having that plan and then sticking to that plan, not closing out early, but just sticking to the plan. There's no need to be worried. There's no need to be scared. There's no need to be emotional. It's just make your plan and stick to it, you know? And then you are literally walking away with a lot of money right now. Um, so that's the first point that I wanted to emphasize. And then the second point that I want to emphasize here is, right, we have hit the top of my main target box from the live stream, which is obviously around our Fibonacci confluences. And I have taken a short from it. And as I'm saying here, that is my first short position in three days. So for the, for the past three days, I'd recognize this is this is not really a good time to short any dips I want to long. But this is for the first time in three days, I was comfortable going into a short. And you, everyone might be thinking, Daniel, that's absolutely crazy. Why would you short Bitcoin? You're seeing Elon Musk change his profile picture to Bitcoin. You're seeing all-time highs. You're seeing X, Y, and Z reasons why everybody thinks this is just going to go up in a vertical line. And what I'm going to say is, no, I have a plan. I am going to stick to my plan. And the worst that can happen is I hit my stop loss. You know, the worst thing that could have happened on that trade is I just got, you know, I'd have got stopped out on it. You know, the, the thing is, that's not the end of the world. I wouldn't have got wrecked. I wouldn't have got destroyed. I would have really simply hit my stop loss. And that's just, okay, before I enter the trade, if a price hits my stop loss, I already know how much money I'm risking on, on the trade. You know, it would have just been acceptable. I'd have accepted the loss. and I'd have said, okay, fair enough. I've got stopped out of it. Let's look, look for the next trade. But no, I actually managed to short it very well. And... Really simply, we did make our way down. Okay, so we did make our way down towards uh, the lows. As you can see here, I actually got that last limit order filled at 56,666, which I just had to do for the 666. But ladies and gentlemen, that was almost the very high of the move. Well, see, this is a laddered short. Just as I was wanting to ladder into my longs, it was also a laddered short position. But that last entry that I got was 56,666, which was the biggest laddered order. I was, I was waiting it towards the highs. And, um, you know, from the first short in, in three days, I was sort of saying to my team this morning, when you have, you know, when you have these really good plans, there's no need to worry. I slept like a baby, woke up to um, to this. <laughs> so it was a short position, av average entry, $56,639. Obviously, I had it weighted pretty nice. And as, as Imi says here, almost the exact top, less than $100 and 0.15% from the high. I just want to emphasize here that how did I do this? It was obviously originally trading that long up to my target box as I wanted to see. And then once it hits the top of the target box, it's okay, this is a, this is a good short. And there's actually an, another factor and that is relating to Ethereum. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you the inverse correlation between Ethereum and Bitcoin and how Ethereum gave me really strong probabilities that Bitcoin was going to pull back here. And Ethereum really was the key. Ethereum is what gave me a lot of confidence. So, you know, you've got to pay attention to this Ethereum analysis because it's literally dictated the high of the Bitcoin move right now. So it's really, really, really special what I'm sharing with you in this video. And we're going to get to Ethereum in a second. I just want to talk you through really quickly. Again, I hope that you're appreciating this because oh, it's just such, <laughs> it's really good, good information. Um, so what, what I'm going over here is, as I've written to my group, a few key points here that I'm just going to read you through because I really do feel that it's worth emphasizing this of how we're recognizing the highs and lows. And, and again, this was based off of Ethereum, which I will cover in a second. Probably give me, give me two minutes and we'll get to Ethereum. Number one, 
you know, I'd done my technical analysis yesterday, you know, yesterday, almost two days ago, and I recognized that price was more likely to head up to high levels. As everybody knows, everybody would have known I was in long positions. There, there was no hindsight. There was no might do this, might do that. I made it very clear I'm in a long. I stayed patient for the drop, which obviously hit my long orders off that CCV setup. While there were hundreds of millions of short orders coming in, I stuck to my plan and I recognized this is absorption for a short squeeze. Number four, new to cancel lower orders and compound my long higher upon seeing the new shorts and divergences. Point number five, during the start of the video, we're at resistance and pulling back. I say to everyone, I'm sticking to my plan. I'm not getting worried. I can see this is likely a bull flag for higher prices. As price does increase, I do not close my long or take profit too early. But number seven, I stick exactly as my plan stated. And when we hit the Fibonacci target box, I started to scale out of my long trade. And this was, I, I did tell everybody inside the champions group as that as well. Point number eight, we get to the top of the Fib box and I start to then scale into a short position for an overnight play in confluence with Ethereum. This is the key. I wake up to incredible profits on Ethereum and Bitcoin by sticking to the master plan. Point number 10, I take a percentage of profits on both of my trades. So I have taken profits on Ethereum, have taken profits on Bitcoin short, and now I can, I can sit and relax. But overall, this shows you the most important factor in trading, which is making a good plan and then sticking to that plan. I blocked out the news, which is obviously people talking about Elon, Elon and expecting it just to go vertical. I'm blocking out the emotions that come with that, and I'm blocking out all the different possibilities. So it might come down, it might go up, it might go sideways, and I'm just you know, sticking to what I believe is the most probable, what is the most likely. Well, and that, that's how you walk away with, with nice profits. Okay. Um, so that's, that's what I wanted to talk you through there on Ethereum. Sorry, on Bitcoin. We'll get to Ethereum now. I wanted to talk you through how I stuck to my plan yesterday and why you have to just block out all, you know, people that think shorting is a bad idea. Well, nothing's going to go absolutely vertical. What we could see, for example, and one because it's still the most likely is that we get the pullback and then we continue up again. But it's, the thing is, nothing's just going to go up absolutely vertically. So you do have these up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And as I was saying, you know, I haven't shorted these last few minor moves in the past three days. I haven't taken a short on Bitcoin. But I recognize now is, you know, this is the time to try and trade the consolidation, even though we might be, you know, getting another impulse upwards out of this again. For me, it was just worth the, the probabilities as we were hitting major, major Fibonacci targets and the move was also overextended. Was that a good idea? To be honest, yes, I've, I've guaranteed profits. So it was a good idea. Um, so that's why I wanted to talk you through there on Bitcoin. Now, I'd like to bring your attention over to Ethereum and, wow, well, ladies and gentlemen, what's happening on Ethereum is going to absolutely, <laughs> it's just going to blow your mind. I really do think so. Uh, before we get over into the Ethereum analysis, I would just like to bring your attention to we do have a Champions live stream on Sunday, which is obviously actually the 20, what is it on Sunday, the 21st? So Sunday, the 21st, tomorrow, <laughs> I do have a Champions live stream. In the Champions live stream, what I do is I delete all my technical analysis and I start my technical analysis from scratch so people can see how I come to my plans. So instead of just like, you know, presenting it like this, you'll actually see me delete everything. You'll see how I get my Fibonacci confluences. You'll see how I draw all my fibs, all my levels. And then off the back of doing all that, I will come with a plan at the end of the video. So at the end of the video, I'll work out what's the most probable scenario, a long, short, or basically a long or a short. <laughs> and then I will give the entry, the stop loss, and the target of that trade that I'm looking to take for the week to come. So if that sounds interesting to you, obviously it's focused on the education, learning about how I'm trading, how I'm doing these things. Um, you know, that's what we got tomorrow. You can obviously, if you're interested, that's over at chartchampions.com where you can see me in a live stream tomorrow for the members. A nice webinar where we'll be going through my next Bitcoin trade. So if that's of interest, you can go check it out. So with that said, let's move over to Ethereum then. Wow, Ethereum, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. Let's just look at this on the four hour. So on Ethereum, what was the level that we have been waiting for <laughs> for the past few weeks on Ethereum? Ladies and gentlemen, it was, that, it was this daily level. That daily level is the level that we've been waiting for, for what I was predicting a high probability trade. If we come down here on the 15 minute chart, look how little time we spent down at that low before a bounce of literally 6%, okay? bounce of uh, in 6.79 nearly 7% bounce 
And it all started from that daily level. And it's like this, like this here. Congratulations to uh, congratulations and big thanks to Daniel. Yeah, again, Ethereum hit that daily level to the dollar as he spoke about for weeks. Incredible as usual. That post was obviously at 4.20 a.m. I was I was basically saying no words needed here at 9, 9 a.m. But you can see here, we come down to that daily level and we got a 7% bounce. Well, here I'm saying 6% bounce from the exact level that I gave you all two weeks in advance. I was telling you about this daily. Ladies and gentlemen, we came down to that daily level. And again, this is Ethereum against Bitcoin. Obviously, I trade Ethereum over on Bybit. You know, I only trade on Bybit Exchange. So the way I manage this is obviously using the conversion tool and I am exchanging Bitcoin to Ethereum based off the BTC pair on Bybit. And you can see here, this is the special thing that I don't think many people are going to recognize why Bitcoin topped out where it did and why Ethereum bounced where it did. Look at this. At 1 a.m., Ethereum hits the daily, which is our massive support that we have been waiting for for weeks. We hit that level. We spend only 15 minutes at that low. I mean, look at this on like the one hour chart. It's just like you're spending little time at that low. I'm able to recognize in the time that this is this is probably going to be our low because it's such a massive support, but it's in confluence with Bitcoin hitting the highs. Again, you can see that print screen from basically 1 a.m. where I had my alert going off. I'm coming back to my computer and I'm trading it. And it's like, look at this. We hit that exact low. Well, Bitcoin is simultaneously hitting its exact high. You see this? Bitcoin topped out at 1 a.m. Bitcoin topped out at 1 a.m. What's happening at 1 a.m.? Well, I was happily filling my short positions on Bitcoin while simultaneously filling my long positions on Ethereum. Because look at this. Bitcoin topped out at 1 a.m. Where did Ethereum bottom out? At 1 a.m. Can you see how Ethereum influenced where the Bitcoin hive is going to be. Ethereum came down to the massive daily support. So people that are good traders like myself that recognize this is the place to buy are selling their Bitcoin to enter Ethereum. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a move of over 7% to the upside. And that was all based off Ethereum being stronger than Bitcoin in confluence with Bitcoin hitting the top of that Fibonacci box. So you can see how we're using multi-dimensional tools here and factors to work out what is the most highest probability trades. It's working out Bitcoin is at the high of our target box. This is big resistance. It's overextended. We're likely to see a pullback before another move to the upside. Well, at 1 a.m., Bitcoin hit that high. I was happily taking my shorts. Ethereum was hitting the low at the exact same time, where I was happy to sell my Bitcoin into Ethereum. And, well, look at that. We had a 7% rise on <laughs> on Ethereum, and we saw Bitcoin get a strong pullback. You, you, you know, I, I can't make it up. I, you know, I just can't make it up. Um, it's, exactly as, <laughs> it's exactly as predicted. Um, and now you've had a strong bounce on Ethereum, over 7%. You're seeing a little bit of a flag. And again, if Ethereum starts to pull back here because of the, because Bitcoin starts to rise again, well, then you're going to see that inverse correlation continue. And one can imagine, if, you know, Ethereum starts to pull back again and, and Bitcoin starts to rise again. Wow. I, I hope that you've enjoyed that talk through because the exact trade that I'm in on Ethereum is that long position. The thing is... I have taken profits on this trade. So this is a really important factor. I have taken profits. I've recognized that we've come back up, taken the highs on Ethereum. We've started to enter this bull flag and Ethereum is pretty notorious right now for getting these nice bounces and entering its flag, but ultimately starts to break down again. So I am cautious that this is going to pull back a little bit here on Ethereum or simultaneously, we could be expecting another rise here to occur on Bitcoin. Something that I'm yeah, I'm going to be watching for the whole day because this for me is so key. This literally could influence the next few weeks on, on, on Ethereum and Bitcoin. It's so massive. It's just so important. And yeah, I mean, so summary on, on, on this video. Well, it's from originally making that plan, sticking to the plan. It's then not getting scared to enter longs at the lows. It's not getting scared to enter shorts up at the highs. It's making a plan, sticking to the plan. It's recognizing the correlation or anti-correlation, one could say, between Bitcoin hitting massive resistance and expecting a pullback while Ethereum hits massive support and expecting a rise. And then it's recognizing I'm not going to hold on to these positions forever. Got to take profits on longs. You've got to take profits on shorts. Uh, could this be the low for Bitcoin now? We head back up? Potentially, yes. If we start to break through our CC, which I'll give you right now, if we start to break through our CC, let's put on the CC template. 
if we start to break through this CC, so we basically we can say if we start to then break through around, let's just say 56,400, then it's really likely that we're pushing up again for another impulse on Bitcoin, to be honest with you. And I would imagine Ethereum pulls back if that's the case. So that CC for me is so important. Um, that's what I'm going to be looking for today. If we can't break it, I can expect a little bit more of a drop. Ultimately, of course, Bitcoin still looks really bullish. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is a video primarily aimed at day traders. Let's, let's be totally honest here. Pretty much a day traders perspective video. But nevertheless, I've given you now a really, really important resistance here of the CC on Bitcoin. I've given you that massive support, which is should be nothing new. Uh, if you've been literally watching these videos for the past few weeks, that's the daily level I've been shilling, <laughs> pretty much. And Bitcoin and Ethereum, exactly as predicted, how? From having a plan. That's how we're able to short literally 0.15% from the high, long Ethereum, <laughs> from the very low of Ethereum, zero, I mean, you can't even get the, the numbers on this, is so close, zero, again, 0.15% 0 0 of the low of Ethereum for a 7% increase in price, and 0.15% of the high of Bitcoin. I am now ready, I am ready to switch into a long on Bitcoin, but not quite yet, I am ready to close all of Ethereum long, if I'm honest with you, if this starts to break down again. I don't have so much trust in Ethereum. We'll have to wait and see how that really plays out. But um, yeah, I just really needed to bring you this video on a Saturday morning to emphasize why we make a plan, why we stick to the plan, why we don't get scared, why, you know, we just really simply trade the charts, trade the highest probabilities. And we're just, the money that you can make on this is absolutely insane. I mean, look at this. This guy making $500, this guy making 12% on the short. I mean, look at this, 800% gains. This guy making 3,900% from a short. You know, there there's people making a lot of money. Well, people, some, some people making six, $67, but I suppose it's like, depends what, what you're saying. And, you know, but basically a lot of people making really good money. I'm absolutely loving this. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope, really hope you've taken it the right way. And that is, I really wanted to present this video as an educational video so you can get into my mind and my perspective. Um, that was the primary focus of this video. It really was looking at the technical analysis and, you know, just emphasizing the need of a plan and, 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 and using good TA. So yeah, that will be my final words of Bitcoin. We hit our resistance. All we were expecting is a pullback. We have got a pullback. This could enter a flag now for another move to the upside. If we break the CC, I do feel it's really likely. You know, Bitcoin does look really bullish. Ethereum, I've taught you through that massive support. We obviously got a 7% bounce. But if we enter another flag with a decrease, yeah, I don't have so high hopes. Um, we'll have to basically see. Um, but I've given you now the really important levels on Bitcoin how we could be looking for another move to the upside. I've given you the really important levels on Ethereum, which is basically that's, that daily support is just it's right now. And um, yeah, if you want to see a live stream from me for the, for the members, going through my next Bitcoin swing trade plan for the next few weeks, that trade could last. Um, yeah, that's what I got over at chartchampions.com. What I will say, if you've enjoyed the video, you can smash up the likes. And if the video is well received, uh, I will do a public live stream for you for absolutely free to everybody give you some thoughts give you some question and answers in the time with myself um smash up the lights if you're interested in that i will do a live stream for you for the public uh but definitely that one it was going to be tomorrow for the for the champions so hope you've enjoyed this video i really 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 do i've, I've loved it i love trading and i love you all thank you ever so much have a brilliant day and goodbye